Linda Fradiani have the marks for this young woman and then see Linda's performance. No question, Linda Fradiani's work is cut out for her. I talked to that appealing young American just a little bit earlier. An awful lot has been written. I think maybe too much has been written. A big step still ahead of you, which is a thing that's very hard to define, this kind of magic contact with the audience. Do you agree with that? And if so, what can you do about it? Um, I think it's um, a great thing that I have to reach out and touch the audience and, and try to relate to them. And I think it's, it's very difficult for me because it's not natural to me. You're naturally a kind of shy person, in right. other words. Well, what are you doing to try to do it? Well, I've been working on smiling during practice and just trying to relate to the uh, stands, empty bleachers. Linda, if your problem is projecting your personality to the audience, can you tell me what that personality is? What is Linda Fradiani like? I think I'm a little shy. I think I could be more outgoing in my skating, and I'm really trying to work on that. How old were you when this all started, when you got your first pair of skates? Nine years old. I got a pair of skates for Christmas. Do you ever have the feeling of, gee, I've been doing this ever since I can remember? Did I really want to do it in the first place? Do you think? No, it started out, I just really loved it, and I started out as a big fun and game, and eventually I got into it really seriously. But I had no intention of, them, you know, making the world team or anything like that. When you're out on the ice skating in a world championship, are you in any sense having a good time still? Oh, sure. I love competing. It's um, really a good feeling to be there, out there in front of everybody. She'll be out there in front of everybody when we return in a minute, making her bid to defend her world championship. The United States, Linda Fratiani. It was one thing last year for Linda Fratiani to come off a fifth place in the 76th World Championships to suddenly become the world champion. Become the world champion. It's quite another thing to be the world champion, now to take to the ice, trailing, and knowing that your closest competitor turned in a fine performance. Her program with two triple jumps. She doesn't have to do them, but if she tries them, she's got to make them. The first is triple toe loop. Here it is. And she fell out of it slightly. Now, I don't know how. I... Triple stall cow. Here it is. Nice one, nice one. Now, if she can skate with dynamism for the rest of the program.
Sitspin, and that is the end of the program. Linda Fratiani. It's in the hands of the judges now. Yeah, I'm, I must say, Jim, it certainly is. I think it's a program that had more content, more difficulty, and more more complicated steps in choreography than that of the net put. But the, the judging system is so tight and so close, she has to do better than than uh, a net put. And whether or not the judging the judges will allow that to happen is another question. Again, I've said it that irrational judging occurs when the skaters are close. Look at this slow motion now of her triple salkow going up, nice turns, nice straight legs, good landing, good landing as she steps and comes right out. That was a beautiful jump, beautiful jump. And now there's Linda Marks with Coach Frank Carroll standing Marks by Marks for Marks those Marks important Marks. marks. Here they are. Oh, it's going to be very close. She's got 5'8", 5'8", 5'7", 5'9", a good one, 5'8", 5'7", 5'8", 5'8", and 5'8". No way to call it. It's going to be very close between her and Annette Perch. Very tense moments, as you can see, by the expression on Linda's face for this young girl from California. Well, we'll know very soon. Right now, however, let's go down to Dick Spot. He's going to have a word with Linda. Well, that was the performance of one Linda Fratiani. What did you think, Linda? I thought it was okay, you know, the triple till if I over-rotate it, it, and I should have checked it out. But the rest of the program? Yeah, I thought the rest of the program was okay. I thought it was very clean and neat and fine, and, and, and no problems elsewhere except for that one slight over, overturn. But it was a lovely performance. Thank you. And a lot better than the national championships. <laughs> what did you think, Frank Carroll? I thought it was better, too. I think it was a little more relaxed and uh, a little more sure than the Nationals. Well, I'll tell you, if I had to call how these judges' marks are going to affect the final outcome, I would have to say I, I couldn't possibly do it. I don't think any of us can. We'll have to sit back and wait right now. We'll be back with How It Happened in just a moment. Cicely Tyson. Linda Fratiani is receiving the applause, not for victory, but for second place. She was unable to do it. The 1978 World Women's Figure Skating Champion is Annette Burke of East Germany. Linda Fratiani is second to receive the silver medal, and third, Susanna Driani, Driano of Italy, who actually is a young lady from Seattle, Washington, that happens to have dual citizenship. So that is the way the women's competition ended up. We might just uh, mention a couple of other things about the men's stick. First of all, that Robin Cus